heavyweight teams go head-to-head -head in match 18 of WBBL 09 as the Scorchers host the Sixers here in the West. Well, here we go. And straight away, there's going to be some runs on offer for the Perth Scorchers. Bit of a fumble from Pelly. Down comes Paparo. Strong over the top. The first boundary of the match goes the way of Chloe Paparo. Good use of the feet again from Mooney. She's getting underway here. Worked away by Beth Mooney. There's four more. Mooney comes down the wicket again, this time to Gardner. She looks on tonight here at the Wacker. Mooney helps herself to a short one on a pads from Tryon. Crunched by Paparo. Well, this goes straight up. It's going to be a tough catch. It's swirling around. That is a brilliant take from Lauren Cheadle down at deep fine leg. And the big wicket of Chloe Paparo goes the way of Maitland Brown. Mooney spoons it over the offside and it is going to run away. Lifts it over mid wicket and out. Beth Mooney has hit it straight down the throat. Maddie Dark sweeping behind square, wonderfully timed. And that is a bit fuller, and it's top edge by Dark. Nostradamus, Katie Martin has picked it, and Maddie Dark has to go. It's another wonderful catch. <laughs> There's a top edge from Griffith. It's hanging high. Oh, that's another wonderful catch. It's brilliantly done by Matilda Carmichael, who's back in the side. Reverse. Amy Jones, we know she's an expert at that shot. Devine sees the length, saw it was short, crunched it into the gap. There's the power of Sophie Devine. Jones has hit that one out of the middle. And to the boundary. Pulling. And pulling well again, Amy Jones. Back-to-back -back boundaries from the English International. Devine doesn't care. She's going a little squarer, and she's picked out the boundary. Reversing is Jones. Accessing the boundary once again with a lovely shot. Sophie Devine crunches it. Back on strike, backing away. Oh, and she's picked out Maitland Brown. Absolutely went like a rocket. Oh, and Edgar straight up first ball. Pelly calls it. It's a golden duck for Amy Edgar. And Ash Gardner is on a hat trick. Double figures, there's a full toss for King. Helps herself to four. She doesn't need that kind of invitation. This sense will be a good chase, and Alana King with a maximum. So too Amy Jones here today. The fielding, though, has been exemplary from the Sydney Sixers. Matilda Carmichael with another catch. And that's pulled this total back some more with Amy Jones gone. King waited for it and slaps it away through the offside. That's gone high from Lily Mills. Has it gone long enough? Doesn't look like it. There's another one. Well, Erin Burns, she doesn't drop them. And Lily Mills, it was a short stay. She provided some valuable entertainment. King steps across, looking to access back with a square leg, and she's done that superbly. Carmichael was herring after it. 
King whips it. Out to deep mid wicket. She just keeps finding the gaps here. King throws the kitchen sink at it. And oh. Burns has kept it from going for six, it looks. <laughs> She's ridiculous, Erin Burns. What an outstanding piece of fielding. That's why she's one of the best, if not the best fielder in this competition. Have a look at this. Takes the catch, recognises she's hard on the boundary rope. Oh. Goes again. I think her foot the second time around might have actually been on the rope. Note that one down for this chase for the Sydney Sixers. You think chasing 171 as opposed to 167. Big difference it could be in the end. So the Scorchers finish 8 for 166 after their 20 overs. Alana King, her top score. It's exciting to see her in the WBBL. And she's starting here to Perry after the big build up, and Perry's just whipped it off her pads for four. That she's gleaned over many years as Perry again. Using the feet, Perry. Third boundary for her. She is in some wonderful form. Bates pushes it. The full toss down the ground for four. Maybe that'll just get her going. A nice one from a New Zealand compatriot. Perry on strike. Gets the full toss and glides it away for three consecutive fours. Down she comes again, straight up in the air. The frustration continues for Susie Bates, and it's Amy Edgar. Giant killer this season with the ball. That's six for her. <laughs> oh, there's a stumping. Ash Gardner cannot believe it. First ball, and Alana King, she did the damage with the bat. Now she's done likewise with the ball. Timed and placed nicely by Elise Perry. Last ball before drinks. It is short and wide. Perry throws the hands at it. Picks up four. Edgar's got another one. This time right through Burns. Seven for the season. And Perry takes a liking to it. First ball looks to go over long on. And King has put it down again. She dropped two on Sunday. She's wondering what is going on. Trying to take on Mills and now try on. Wax of four behind square. Perry carves it away. Backward of point. Tryon's beaten short mid-wicket. It's King again in the hot spot, and it's four. Tryon lifts this one into the leg side. Ainsworth charging. Ainsworth doesn't get there. Tryon looking for three straight, but no. It's Alana King taking the catch, removing Tryon. It's wide, Perry gets it through. A second half century for Elise Perry in edition nine of the WBBL. So can she go on with it now and lead the sixes? Stands and edges. Brown gone for a duck. And two wickets fall in the power surge. Carmichael works that behind point. Beautifully manufactured that shot. King bowling the 17th, stumping chance. Oh, Mooney says, is this another moment? Is this another moment that's going to be replayed over and over again? Maybe CA, if this is another stumping, I'll bring it in tomorrow. Oh, it is tight. I don't know if a foot's behind the line. It was right on it. Elise Perry thinks she, she looked sheepish, didn't she? 
Next ball though, Perry deposits it behind square for four. Carmichael gets an edge, it's flashy, it's running away. Second boundary of the over. Perry looking for a maximum, can't find it. Picks out the Scorchers captain and maybe with that wicket go the hopes of the Sydney Sixers. This has gone straight up from Carmichael. Is it Edgar's fourth? Best bowling figures in her WBBL career, and she could yet have five. If everyone's beating everyone, there's another one. Ainsworth, she's got a wicket tonight. Eight for the season for her. Smith is out. So the captain has another one, Edgar is having a wonderful night with the ball in the field. Sixers lose nine now, and the Scorchers are almost there. So it is a happy Halloween for the Perth Scorchers. Back in the winner's circle. Third win of the season, King is pumped. And the Sixers, well, they sit with just one win from their first five matches last season's finalists. A comprehensive 36-run win for the home team.